If you are interested in cryptos, then you already know by this time that the last thing on anyone's mind right now is probably investing in a cryptocurrency exchange after FTX being swept away in a solvency hurricane and all. Meanwhile, on November 8, in the midst of the storm, Kathy Wood's ARK Innovation Fund bought $21.4 million worth of Coinbase coin stock. So let's see if she's onto something here and if you should consider investing in Coinbase alongside her. If you like our videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. How is Coinbase doing money-wise? On November 3rd, Coinbase released its financial results for the third quarter. The company's quarterly net revenue had dropped again, as reported the following day. Overall, the digital asset exchange only made $576.4 million, down about 28% from the preceding quarter. The report wasn't all bad, though. Coinbase increased non-crypto income, reduced expenses, and has a healthy cash reserve to see it through the crypto winter. More investigation into the net revenue figures reveals a trend beginning in 2021. Although Coinbase's overall revenue, white line, and trading revenue, red line, have been on the decline, the company's non-trading revenue, green line, has been on the rise. Given the current state of the market, a decline in trading volume is to be expected. Many investors would rather keep their coins in cold storage than sell them at a time like this. For Coinbase, things will get worse as the bear market continues. Until then, it needs to bring in more money through blockchain bonuses, custodial fees, and interest. During the previous quarter, Coinbase reduced its spending significantly. It cut its budget for advertising and running the business by almost half and laid off 5% of its workers though it is still investing roughly the same amount in R&D, which, given its rapid expansion and ambitious goals, is entirely appropriate. It's clear that Coinbase is still spending more money than it's bringing in, as the company posted a quarterly loss of $544.6 million in the most recent reporting period. It's a drop in the bucket, compared to the previous quarter's loss of $1.09 billion, so there is some good news. What does the future look like for Coinbase? The future looks bright for Coinbase. The company has a strong team in place, a well-designed product, and a rapidly growing user base. Coinbase is in a good position to become the best place to buy and sell digital currencies in the US and beyond. Here we have talked about three factors that might be key to their future expansion. Number one, Coinbase is a US listed company. To be sure, investors are wary of Coinbase in the wake of the scandals at FTX, Celsius Network, and Voyager before it. On the other hand, Coinbase is a publicly traded US company with strict reporting rules that none of the other three would have met. Quarterly, Coinbase must show in its public financial statements that it holds each customer's assets in the same amount. It makes a lot of sense from a business point of view for Coinbase to pursue the strategy of being the most secure and compliant digital asset exchange. Although crypto assets are expanding, many more cautious investors still take a second look at them. That means when those investors do come around to crypto, they will look first to Coinbase if it can be the most compliant and trusted exchange. Number 2. Coinbase has been making friends in high places. Back in August, Coinbase teamed up with BlackRock, the largest asset manager in the world, to make it easier for large financial institutions to add digital assets to their investment portfolios. Aladdin is a portfolio management system for traditional assets made by BlackRock. It is used by over 200 companies around the world, including BlackRock itself. Coinbase is working with BlackRock right now to connect its institutional platform, Coinbase Prime, to Aladdin. This integration is expected to go live next year. Coinbase Commerce, which is part of the Coinbase payment system, now accepts payments in cryptocurrency, thanks to a partnership with Google Cloud that was announced a month ago. In addition, Google will use Coinbase Prime for recording and storing their digital assets. Number 3. Coinbase is trading at a good value, but the stock is volatile. According to Bloomberg, the stock has a forward-looking enterprise value-to-sales ratio of 2.57, which means that it is approximately 25% less expensive than the Nasdaq in general when compared to this criterion. To calculate the ratio, the enterprise value EV, of the company or the overall value of the business is divided by the amount that analysts anticipate will represent the company's sales in 2023. Remember that analyst estimates aren't always accurate. But the ratio is still a tool that investors use to determine whether or not a company represents a good value. And in terms of the amount of volatility it exhibits, Coinbase has a beta of 2.5 in comparison to the Nasdaq. 
with a beta of 1. In other words, it is expected to have a volatility that is 150% higher than that of the index itself. Coinbase's value usually goes up even more when the Nasdaq goes up. So this is a very good sign. Obviously, things might also go in the opposite direction if the Nasdaq index declines. So what's the opportunity here? Our prediction was and still is that the company is approaching the issue of regulation and compliance as a long-term strategy. It is true that this would slow it down when launching new items, and it is possible that it will have to spend more time and money to keep everything spotless. But in the long run, this could all be very profitable. Because of what just took place with FTX, you can bet your bottom Bitcoin that government officials are going to start cracking down on cryptocurrency exchanges even more than they have in the past. As a result, FTX's fall from grace may actually be beneficial for Coinbase. The company now has one less competitor, and the emphasis it places on compliance may give it an advantage over the competitors who are still standing. In spite of this, in order for Coinbase to once again bring in significant sums of money, the cryptocurrency market will first need to show signs of reviving. As a stopgap measure, the cash on hand and several other income streams will have to suffice until then. So what do you think about it? Is Coinbase going to be the future of crypto? Let us know in the comment box. So that wraps up today's episode. We hope to see you in our next episode. Till then, goodbye and take care.